All right, here is the carnage. It looks like there's a chunk missing out of this shift fork. Um, someone forced this shift rail in, I know, because it takes patience to put in. Someone rode with their hand on the shifter. You can see right there. Input shaft looks okay at first glance, but it needs to be taken apart and cleaned to be fully inspected properly. You cannot have oil on things. It hides things like pitting, gear rot, anything, cracks, everything. Uh, ring gear looks okay. We're putting in that limited slip differential. Uh, reverse gear set is bad. Reverse engagement rings bad. Output shafts good. Third and fourth gear driven gears are good. Synchros are good. This assembly was installed incorrectly, which is what I ex expected when I first took it apart. This was installed upside down. The depth is different on this. Fifth gear engagement ring is bad. Get it taken care of. Excuse my garage. It's kind of messy right now, but let's see if I can take this apart with one hand. Try to film. Let me give you guys some uh, tips on how to do these. First, for the input shaft, you start by taking this snap ring retainer off. Put the camera down, then I'll have that off and try to take the shaft apart. Alright, I got the retainer off. And you never want to reuse those. As you can see, it's pretty deformed. Um, always replace them, they're cheap. Got my special tool on here to remove the bearing. I've used just a bearing puller before, before I had these, but this came in the kit that I bought, so might as well use it. Let me go ahead and pull this bearing off, and I'll show you how this tool works in a second. All right, so you can see how it's starting to raise the bearing off the shaft. This is like the outside cage of the part. There's four devices in here that when you screw this inner portion of the tool down, it expands those into the bearing. Um, so it grabs the bearing, this screws onto this portion of the tool, and then this puts pressure against the input shaft, which pulls this up and releases the bearing off the shaft. Works pretty good. Um, but like I said, you can use a generic bearing puller and a press. That's what I used to use. It works just as good. Um, so I'm just using this because it came in the kit that I bought to do these right. trannies. So there's what it looks like with that bearing and the retainer off. This is the tool. You can see there's the bearing in there. I'm going to go ahead and take this tool apart. Um, and then show you guys kind of how it works and how to finish disassembling the shaft. Okay, so we'll start by removing this first gear. Um, I know how these go together, but I still take them apart in the same way. It just makes it easier for reassembly. And if you haven't done this before, it's best to do this this way or whatever system works good for you. So we'll take this first gear off, which is fourth gear, and I like to place it down so that when I'm rebuilding the shaft after it's all clean, even though I will look up the service manual instructions just because I think it's better to do that every single time than be sorry. Um, when you pick it off your workbench, you know that it goes on that way. Um, obviously, you know it goes on that way because the engagement teeth are on that way. If you put it on like this, you know, obviously that looks wrong and it's not going to work. So I take out this uh, cage needle bearing. I always replace these. They are very expensive for some reason. These are like 30 some dollars, which is, seems ridiculous. But we're already in here. We might as well. Um, the synchro comes out next. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Oh, I just lost a piece. Um, there's like three little leaf springs on here. One fell right here. Don't do that. <laughs> and then just pull the sinker out. You can do a quick inspection right now, but like I said before, you know, it's best to do this after everything's clean because oil will hide cracks and all kinds of things. So it's just best to clean it all first, unless it's like, you know, obviously something's broken or 
you know, if you're looking at the teeth and, you know, obviously one is sheared off or something, don't even bother cleaning it. Um, okay. Okay, so next this comes down. And there's a snap ring on there, retainer. Oops. Well, those need to come out anyway, so I'll take those out. Um, usually I'll use a magnet for that. Like I said, I'm using one hand, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me than normal. just kind of want to show you guys how to do this. There's a bunch of people always ask me, and no one ever wants to pay for anything, so might as well show you guys how. Okay, um, next I would grab some needle nose and I'm actually going to pause the video right now. I'm going to go grab a tool and then I'm going to take this snap ring off and then I'll, I'll start the video again. Alright, so I took the snap ring off. These are directional. There's a flat side and there is a beveled side. You want the flat side against the load. Um, this is the flat side that I'm showing you, came off like that, so the load is going to be coming up this way against it. You want that against the shaft like that. Um, just a little spring and plunger in here, I took the other two out, um, I just used some needle nose, pull them out. The spring goes in first, and then the plunger, and then these little cylindrical looking things. Um, next you can go ahead and take this engagement ring off. Again, I also like to put this on the same way I took it off. Um, you can also see a way to remember that is the manufacturing marks. On the bottom, there's just a bunch of lines and it's flat completely. And on the top, you can kind of see where it it is not like that. Um, from what I remember, the instructions don't say that this goes on a certain way, but it's best to put it back on how it is wearing with everything. And don't quote me on that because when I put it back together, I will look that up. And this one's going to be easy because there's green paint on it already. Okay, so then next, let's see if we can't get this off. I might need two hands for this. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands, so I'll be right back. All right, so I just took that off. Here it is over here. You go ahead and, you don't have to take this off first, but this little spacer ring, whatever you wanna call it, it's directional, it has little teeny we need divots in it. Um, it only can go on one way. Well, it can go on both ways, but it goes on that way. I mean, this piece, you can see that there's no machined indent on this side. Um, so this, this goes on the shaft like this. And then that goes on there. That fits on there. Um, and the synchro goes on right here. Be careful when you're taking this off. There are three of these little springs, like this one. Um, there's a third one. They can go flying. Just be aware and go ahead and take off a third gear. And we'll clean it, inspect it. cage needle bearings. Go ahead and replace that too. And we'll go ahead and take this input shaft out of the vise. And then we'll clean it and inspect everything and get this input shaft bearing off and that's it. That's how you take it apart. It's pretty simple. Um, Clean all this and then we'll inspect it.